Hello, Happy New Year! My name is Ashley, if you don't know me, and welcome to my YouTube channel, He Restores Me. It's been a while since I've posted a video. It's been a while since I've been on social media. I think I posted something this week. But prior to that, I hadn't been active and that was because I was actually hospitalised. So I haven't been um, active in terms of posting on the YouTube channel. But yeah, I thought I would make a video. It's not a specific topic that I'll be talking about, but I guess one of the main topics will be being in hospital. I don't know where to begin, but I guess I'll start with last year. Um, around November. It was quite a sad month for me and for the family because I lost my grandmother, I lost a loved one as well and it was yeah two deaths in a week. It was quite sad for me and I think that was one of the triggers that made me get a bit more unwell but um, other than that I was experiencing some confusing thoughts, racing thoughts, wondering what's the purpose of life, why is it that there are bad things going on and it feels like um, it's just non-stop, like you hear the news and you hear about Covid and the different ways it's affecting other people and yeah it was just a bit overwhelming for me so I was hospitalised around um, later in November and I had a psychotic episode and I felt like I was kind of aware of what was going on but I was not in touch with reality which was um, quite traumatizing for me now that I reflect. It was quite hard to remember what I was like and that I thought my thoughts was the norm. I was not feeling too well in hospital but um, I was eventually discharged just before New Year's. So it's been um, very, very busy. Yeah, I am still coming to terms with everything that happened. And I know that everything happens for a reason. I know it's good to be at peace with what happened and to forgive myself, I guess. I still feel a bit of shame and guilt attached to everything that happened. So I think I need to come to terms with everything I know it's a process, so I need to be patient as well. I was experiencing quite a lot of religious delusions also, so I had to take a step back and think, what is it that I actually believe about God? And so I'm trying to rediscover who God is, and I'm realising he's a lot more loving than what I thought he was like when I was having my delusions. I actually believed in some of these delusions that I was the devil, and I have to change how I view myself because um, it's just not healthy to think that well, you're the reason why everything bad happens when the truth is some bad things happen and it's not because of us, um, it's not because of me. So there's loads of things that were going on that I had to think is this actually true and I'm on a process of trying to realise if my thoughts about myself are true. I think there's a lot for me to share in the next few YouTube videos and um, I'm willing to share but I would love you to share with me your thoughts if you've gone through similar experiences, how it's helped you, how you've been able to overcome because I definitely haven't overcome everything yet, but I know it's a journey and I'm willing to record part of that journey to discovering who God is, discovering who I am, to add meaning to what is going on in this world. And even though there's bad things going on, there's still beauty amidst the chaos. Please feel free to share with me your thoughts on this video. I hope that you're well. I hope you're having a good start to 2022. And I'm hoping to start recording more videos again because I'm feeling a lot better than I was before, definitely. So thank you. Bye.